Yo, it's your boy, Straight Boss, over here from Straight Smoke Gaming. It's Monday. That means it's time to give you the smoke on Red Dot Online, as we do every Monday here at Straight Smoke Gaming. So, that being said, today's video, this is a video that I'm thinking about turning into making it a series, because I could make this video probably an hour long with the mistakes that new players make, and that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about some things that new players, and it's... It's not their fault. A lot of these, it's easy to, a lot of these mistakes are easy to, you know, forget. You know, they go over your head or whatnot. But there is still a lot of new players, a lot of low-level players in the game. I don't know if the game is still on Game Pass or not. If you guys know, go ahead and comment. Um, but there are still a lot of low-level players. So this is kind of one of those videos for beginners where we're going to be talking about some mistakes that some beginners and new players couldn't avoid if they... You know, so choose, hopefully. Uh, avoiding doing these things will make the game a lot easier. Okay. Now, that being said, you can see here I'm clearing out a Moonshine, uh, uh, a bootlegger mission here. And if you noticed, what I haven't done yet is I have yet to loot one body. And that's a mistake. And I do see players do this. I've seen. You know, I've been near people that are running bounties, and they get their target, and they take off. They don't bother looting. Um, same with trader resupplies. Um, you know, these bootlegger missions, even a stranger mission. Like, loot the dead bodies. Um, there's so many good things you could get from looting a dead body. And as a beginner, as a low-level player, they're, they're extremely helpful. You can get treasure maps. You could get ammo. You could get explosives, you know. You could get explosives when you don't technically even have it unlocked in your rank yet. You might loot dynamite, you know, a fire bottle. Um, you could, you know, like I said, get ammo. You could get provisions. You could get collectibles. And the collectibles stay with you in your inventory until you get the collector roll. So, yes, absolutely loot. Don't leave a dead body unlooted. That's what you have to do. You gotta loot okay and here's kind of a two for one moving on to the next one is use your catalog use your catalog when to buy things you don't need to go to a general store okay use your catalog left on the d-pad you bring it out you buy it you can pick up this stuff at any post office in your camp you don't need to go to a general store so that was kind of a freebie there but what the main point what i'm trying to get across here in this clip is you don't need to buy these you don't need to buy none of this stuff, okay? You can loot all of this stuff that I'm flipping through. All of that is lootable, okay? If you loot, you will get that stuff. You'll get provisions. Don't waste a ton of money on provisions. Don't waste a ton of money on, you know, the brandy and stuff like that and the cigarette. You loot all that stuff, okay? You get that stuff anyway. So don't spend a ton of money. Don't spend even... Just don't spend much money at all, because you can get that stuff looted. You For provisions, you hunt, skin it, you get the meat, cook the meat, eat the meat. You really don't need provisions, so that's another one. Moving on to this clip here, I'm pointing out how people don't join posses. Low levels here, I spend a good 7-8 minutes inviting lower levels, level 5s, level 18s, level 22s, for a trader sale to get money so new players try to accept the posse invites like if you're rank five and you get a posse invite yes that's money or gold if they're doing bounties or a stranger mission okay so yes accept posse invites it's gonna be way more fun than you think and it's gonna be profitable for you in the end here i'm showing a clip me and jay cut showing a uh, clip of this is another mistake I think new players make a fair amount. You know, you're a rank 6, rank 10, rank 18, whatever it is, and you're just minding your own business. Oh, this game's so beautiful. Wow, my horse, I got a decent horse now. That first one sucked. Then all of a sudden you get shot and killed. Okay, and it's normally by a high level player. So then you respawn and you're like, all right, that was uncalled for. I'm going to get this prick. And then you go up to him, you can see I'm rocking paint it black and only one card. And I'm using a car, the carbine repeater, the starter. And 
I even have a full ring of health. Beginners don't even have that option as a full ring of health. So, there I'm using my dead eye card to paint it black. But, this high level player is using Slippery Bastard, so that's not going to work so well. So, uh, the point I'm trying to make here is if you're a beginner player, you're a new player, low rank player even, um, don't get lost in PvP. You know, you could spend, I could spend fighting J Cut here 45 minutes to an hour just fighting back and forth. In the end, how much money did I gain? How much gold did I go up by? Did I do any, you know, and anything? All I did was waste ammo. Okay. Higher levels. I mean, if you're low, low, low level, you don't have the cards. You don't have the health. You don't have the ammo. You don't have the data. You don't, you don't have anything to compete with them. You might get lucky and get a headshot and get a kill, and it's going to make you think you have a chance. But in the long run, you're going to get slaughtered. So why waste all that time when you could be doing something to get, to get money? Okay, so yes, getting lost in PvP in this game is a mistake for new players. Okay, here I'm showing, this is, I, I've touched on this in several videos before, and it's still a thing, as you can see here, we have a rank 28, okay, they have two cards flipped over, okay, they're already halfway to getting their third card unlocked, but they only have the first two picked out. They still got the paint it black, which I believe is what you start with for your dead eye card. So they probably never even touch their cards at all. You just got to hit that start button, bring up the menu, go down to abilities, and pick out your cards. Guys, these cards are important. New players, low levels, your cards are important. They make the game so much easier. It brings the game um, to you at the pace that you want it to, and you're going to be much more successful. And it quite honestly, it'll give you a fighting chance in PvP, even with some high levels. You know, as long as your health is up, you know, as long as you got the full bar around your health, you might be able to compete with, you know, based on the loadout that you have. These cards are important, okay? Very important, and they're going to be important the entire time you play this game. Uh, I can't stress this enough. I've stressed in so many other videos. Here's a rank 16 right here. He got that first card unlocked at rank 10. He still doesn't have one picked out. To buy a card, it's only 50 bucks. Only 50 bucks, okay? And you could start working on that, you know? So have your cards active, guys. That's one of the big, you know, I know I saved some of the big ones here at the end of the video, but those are a couple of mistakes that I see new players make all the time. And I'm just trying to help you guys out um, to make this game a little bit easier for you because it can be difficult. So... All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and click like if you did and subscribe for more Red Dead Online content. Make sure you click the bell notification to get notified every time we do post a video. And go ahead and check out some links in the description. Last week I did a horse review and we also recently hit 1,000 subscribers. There's a big uh, special thank you video that will be in the description.